how do we know about how the Trump administration, A, is divided on how to deal with China and what they do next with trade? Well, um, you know, we had this great story overnight showing that, that there is this split and that there are some people within the Trump administration that want to try to see if they can get a deal before these tariffs come into uh, force in July. That doesn't give them a lot of time, um, given the fact that there were talks for, for quite a while and they didn't make any headway. I, you know, you want to never say never, but, you know, it seems unlikely at this point that they'd be able to reach a deal. But there is obviously, this is part of the long uh, standing divisions within Trump's inner circle about how to deal with trade, how to deal with China. Um, you know, I'm reminded of when I interviewed Steve Bannon um, a few weeks ago. Um, you know, he's out of the White House, but I think his views are pretty indicative of the sort of trade hawk wing within Trump's inner circle. And his view is, we're already in a trade war with China. We should be, you know, pressing ahead with tariffs. And then you have others like Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin and Economic Advisor Larry Kudlow. You know. Who viewed this as potentially economically damaging? Um, who view have the classic view that everyone loses in a trade war? Um, so how this plays out remains to be seen. We, just like with migration, we don't know who Trump is going to be listening to in the end. Right? Do we even know if China and the U.S. at the moment are talking? Are there back channels that we may not have heard of, which kind of, where the dialogue is still open? Well, it looks like they're reaching out uh, to uh, China to ha perhaps have uh, the Chinese vice president come to the U.S. and maybe there are more discussions going on behind the scenes uh, on that level that we don't know about. Um, but clearly there is an effort by one wing within the White House to, to try to uh, come to some sort of resolution.